Scientists are unraveling some of the mysteries into why some people unexpectedly dodge COVID, even while others all around them fall ill. Our ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain how the research could improve medicines for all of us. Back in January 2020, Carl Goldman and his wife Jerry were on the Diamond Princess cruise ship when their vacation was turned upside down. Once again, we have no idea what the heck is going on. They were in the middle of the first large COVID outbreak anywhere outside China. Carl got infected and spent nearly a month in the hospital. 10 days in biocontainment and then in the lower level of care and kept testing positive. It, it stayed with me. I was negative the whole time. It's totally weird. I don't know how she didn't get it. Jerry and Carl are what scientists call a discordant couple. When two people share extended close contact, but only one falls ill. Understanding why someone doesn't get infected or doesn't get sick is ultimately a uh, powerful. Dr. Alessandro Setti's team at the La Jolla Institute for Immunology is collecting blood samples from people who show special resistance to the virus. He says there are several theories about what's going on, including genetics and pre-exposure to another virus. In January, researchers in the UK examined 52 household contacts. They found people with high levels of pre-existing immune cells called T cells were less likely to get infected with COVID. These T cells are generated during infections with other coronaviruses that cause the common cold. The effect is modest. Having these T cells reduced the risk of infection by 6%. But research by Dr. Setti's team shows these cells have a secondary benefit on vaccination. People that had this pre-existing T cell reactivity reacted faster and better to vaccinations. Other researchers have identified certain genes that may be protective against COVID, like the gene responsible for type O blood. The effect is also small. The risk of infection drops 12%. It's quite possible it's going to be a, a mixed bag with more than one thing that is contributing to uh, this phenomenon. He says discordant couples might be the result of vaccine timing. If one person was vaccinated more recently, they might have slightly more protection. Another theory has to do with asymptomatic infection. Maybe one person was infected a month before their partner and didn't know it, so they built immunity. But Dr. Seti says finding a way to leverage the immune cells or the genes that drive this natural protection could help us develop a pan-coronavirus vaccine. And it all starts with people like Carl and Jerry. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Interesting. This kind of approach has been successful with HIV. Research on the small group of people whose bodies can keep HIV under control led to a class of HIV-blocking drugs.